At 35, this Oxford-educated politician could become the first woman in history to lead an Islamic nation. She wants democracy for the people after 11 years of Zia's martial law. As the Bhutto bandwagon rolls through the farmlands of Sindh province, it's clear she's become the champion of the poor. Benazir claims her Pakistan People's Party is the largest and most popular force in a country split by political factions. Haunting this campaign, the ghosts of her late father, former Prime Minister Ali Bhutto, and the man who ordered his execution, President Zia ul Haq, himself killed in a plane crash three months ago. The Premier Zia sacked in May, Mohammed Khan Junejo, now leads Bhutto's main opposition, a nine party alliance of pro and anti Zia factions. Stopping Benazir taking power appears to be the only uniting factor. From their newly built bunkers, the army, always at the center of Pakistan's affairs, have promised to referee a fair contest. The enforcers of martial law now support an orderly return to civilian rule. With little to choose between the parties, it's proving a tough scramble for power. Benazir admits her health is suffering just two months after the birth of her first child, a hint that she won't stay in politics forever. And if God blesses us with victory, that's what I'd really like to see, that there was democracy and that we had the courage to install a democratic order, have a constitutional rule, and then also have the courage to say, let others come. Benazir is not the only one who attracts frenzied support. 300,000 turned up at this ethnic party rally last night. Pakistan's volatile election may produce no clear winner. campaign ended in Lahore, where the Islamic Democratic Alliance leader, Nawaz Sharif, drew a massive crowd. His supporters confident of victory. The mask of the late Ali Bhutto shows his ghost continues to dominate this election, which is seen by many as simply a pro or anti Bhutto contest. The campaign was marred by a row of identification cards. It was decreed that all voters must have identification. Benazir Bhutto believed that could lead to the vote rigging. That although the elections are being rigged against us, we are still fighting them. Because by decree, the acting president made it a law to have identification. We went to court and we proved before.
before the court that in the constituency where there were 112,000 voters, 250,000 cards had been issued. That means more than 100% fraud. Despite her fears of vote rigging, Benazir Bhutto believes she can win the election. She has strong support among the poor and the farmers and drew massive crowds for her rally. Now, it's up to the voters.